And the question I have to you, are you Hawaiians that want justice for what was done to our Queen Lilio Kalani? Are you Americans that want to just keep playing in their little pool that they can throw little toys at you to keep you comfortable? The Office of Hawaiian Affairs, or OHA, was created in 1978 by the State Government of Hawaii with the mission of working for the betterment of conditions of all Hawaiians by providing leadership, guidance, direction and executive oversight. It also pledges to right the wrongs suffered by the Hawaiian people at the hands of the United States. Federal legislation introduced by Hawaii's congressional delegates providing for formal recognition of Hawaiians is raising a lot of eyebrows all over town, and you can bet in Washington, D.C. Some say the bill is too much, some say that it's not enough, some say it's unfair, and others that it's justice long overdue. I'm Clayton He, I'm the chairman of the board of trustees for the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. What do you think? Do Hawaiians have a right to political status in their native homeland? The mission of the Office of Hawaiian Affairs is to act in, in and make decisions for the betterment of conditions of Native Hawaiian people. Or are they to be pushed aside, landless, homeless, jobless, incarcerated, unhealthy? This may not be the case for all Hawaiians, but it certainly is for far too many. Currently, OHA is bracing for the release of a state audit launched a year ago that is expected to be critical of how some trustees have used their personal allowances, managed an investment portfolio that was losing money last year, and how they might have lost track of funds during an agency consolidation. Well, the Akaka Bill takes us a step closer to being able to make decisions, choose leaders, and move forward as a politically recognized and federally recognized entity. The recent decision by the United States Supreme Court in the Rice case says that Hawaiians may not have some rights they believed were guaranteed. But guaranteed by whom? This is more than a moral issue. We don't live in a perfect world, obviously. And it would be erroneous of, of you or anyone else to conclude that the Akaka Bill provides for a perfect world. It provides for a better world. Federal recognition is a step toward reconciliation between Hawaiians and the federal government. The bill currently before Congress provides for that recognition. It also enables Hawaiians to build their government. It would not be subordinate to the state government. It would be subordinate to the federal government. Gaming is not an, a permitted activity by law, period. So that's not really a, a matter of discussion. It's a matter of law. It's time we look at this new legislation. You know, uh, people who argue for total independence have a purpose in a civilized society. I happen to believe in what is possible. I can't imagine any situation where truly true independence would be achieved. Those of us who understood international law uh, were able to understand the hidden significance behind the Akaka Bill to accept and acknowledge uh, the uh, terms of the Akaka Bill, Native Hawaiians would be effectively forfeiting any chances of independence in the future because they would be accepting the conditions granted to them by the U.S. federal government. Three days before the start of the public hearings on federal recognition, the Outer Island hearings were cancelled due to an elective hip surgery for Senator Daniel Akaka. Even though the state's most widely read newspaper stated that the bill would essentially define the political status of Native Hawaiians, a postponement was judged unnecessary by the Hawaii representatives who were, of course, endorsing the bill. As a result, the minimal $100 plane fare prevented many from testifying. In general, pro-independent sentiments are much stronger on the outer islands. <laughs>